Ma? Pa? Is it safe to come out now? Ma? Pa? Michael Deering. My family and I had such a great time visiting your deli in May on our way to starting our own life on the prairie. Sadly to say, our wagon got spilt over and I fell in a hole. My ankle was busted and I can't walk real good. I was afeard of creepers so I covered myself in dirt to hide through the night. I guess Ma and Pa went on without me. This morning things are better so I climbed out of the hole and started walking. I plan to send you this letter when I reach the nearest village and then proceed on a pace to catch up with Ma and Pa. I don't know if I'll ever find them again, so I may have to stake out my own claim of land. Thank you again for your hospitality last month. Please thank my cousin Techna Scribe for the wonderful rabbit stew. I will write again once I've reached my new homestead. Please say hi to all of my other aunts and uncles. Regards and sincerest, Ron. P.S. The only thing I had to write this letter with were two pieces of dirt, so it might be a bit smudged. Hope you understand. Hello? Hello, is anybody here? Ah, there you are. Sir? Oh, excuse me, sir. Could you take this letter to my uncle? Hey, howdy. Sure, I can get your letter to your uncle, but it'll cost you one gold in you for my time and the mileage on my Oh my, I don't, I don't have any gold. What about you? Hey, wanna trade some emeralds? Oh, are you serious? Hmm, you look like you could use a carrot. That will be one gold bar, please. Oh, uh, that's a gift. That's now property of you in this village. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna move on. I gotta... I gotta move on. I think. Did you guys see a family come through here on a wagon? Perhaps anything? A ma and a pa and a baby sister and a bonnet. Oh. Okay. Let's let's move on this way. We gotta we gotta see if we can catch up to ma and pa. Although I'm I'm limping quite badly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it very far. I may have to settle in and start my own homestead completely completely separate from where Ma and Pa set up maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll even use some of my trailblazing ingenuity and I'll just create a temporary shelter on the prairie until such time as my leg heals maybe by the end of June and then I can move on and catch up with Ma and Pa oh hey we can take these these are really good. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. I almost, almost got trapped in another hole forever. Whew. Well, so I was visiting Uncle Uncle Michael Deering. And many of my... Their, their farm was huge. It had a nice deli on it. We were there in May. And uh, many, many, many of my cousins and other aunts and uncles were there. It was a giant family reunion. And on all of our families were hiking out into the prairie to start our own lives. There was 8-Bit Dame and Felonius, Aunt Congering, Cousin Jade LF, Aunt PB was there. Oh, here's another village. Maybe they'll help me with my letter. Uh, Cousin Johnny Raichu was there, Aunt Derp Guru, Cousin Cherry Bitters, Kid Awesome 2, all my other cousins, John Fall, D&K, Smithy. Oh my gosh, so many to name. Look at this. Look at this. This looks like, uh... Oh, pack mules. Oh. Alright, let's go to this village and see if they can send my letter on to my uncle. Man, that last village charged a gold. 
Can you believe it? A gold for anything. Gold is a lot. I don't have anything. All I have is the dirt in my pockets, some seeds. Can you take this letter to my uncle, Michael Deering, for anything less than a gold? Sure, I can get your letter to your uncle. It'll cost you one gold ingot, and it'll oh, take about man. a week. Thanks. Boy, life, I can't wait till I get out of this big city and onto the prairie. Well, gosh, it's getting hot. It's already noon. I'm going to have to start building my own home, and I'm going to have to forego uh, my dreams of catching up to Ma and Pa until my ankle heals up. Uh, or a month goes by and then I will leave my temporary home on the prairie so okay so here's where we're gonna build my home on the prairie it's beyond any recognizable landscape that I've ever heard of or been in so that's a key criteria it's gonna be away from the village so that even though those those rapscallions are really money grubbing uh, money grubbing settler people uh, I don't want to attract any zombies to them because that just wouldn't be very wholesome of me actually I shouldn't think bad thoughts about them should I all right we're gonna go over there and we're gonna grab us we're gonna grab us the uh, the wood that we need to start uh, I'm actually quite surprised that I'm not a lot hungrier than I am Maybe the pain, maybe the pain is keeping my hunger at bay a bit as I walk here all the way over to this mountain. Uh, I am going to use up a bit of hunger swimming and climbing up the hill though. But this water, well, I don't really want to build, I don't really want to build my house down, down at the bottom of a, of a little valley. Let's, t you know, we'll use this up here to take a look around and see we got some sheep here I cannot shear them yet I don't have any shears and I cannot make a sword to kill them I don't eat meat I don't eat mushrooms I don't want to kill them that would just be too cruel for school uh, or for prairie life oh you know what oh this tree is not the kind that bears fruit so that is yet another disadvantage I have. A non-fruit bearing tree. I would like to stick around for the saplings, but I need to very... There we go. There's a fruit bearing tree. There's another. Oh, and there's some coal. You know what? We're going to... We're going to... Oh, I guess I could have just made some charcoal. Uh, oh my gosh. I think the pain in my... The pain in my ankle is making my head a little spinny because I'm having trouble even creating a basic crafting table here. Let's do this. Let's do this. We got to keep an eye on that time because that is going to tick over tonight really quickly. And before we know it, we're going to be in hot tamales. We're going to be down in Mexico. The barony of Mejis as some are want to call it. All right, we're just going to we're just going to take what we got here and we're going to go. It's time to move on. We've done a lot of walking today. We've done a lot of walking today. Actually, I got an idea. Oh, my idea won't work. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that water was closer to the cliff's edge. I was going to pour it down and I was going to go down it like a water slide. Well, that's weird. Why didn't I get that achievement for bidding spruce all right I am hoping I can get an apple and a sapling from this tree here let's pop those off an apple and a sapling would give me confidence that I will make it through the oncoming night when the prairie wind is the only thing I hear above the roar of zombie noises and when such things as creepers and skeletons of long dead plainsmen haunt the land. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> That's not good at all. That is not good at all. I can't, I cannot leave. 
I cannot leave this area without a proper sapling. Oh, egg me up. Egg me up, chicks. That will help me in the long run. Egg me up, anyone? No eggs? Oh, you're chicken teases. You are chicken teases. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I thought my start off was going to be a little bit different than this uh, in terms of difficulty. I should probably make an axe. Is it... I thought that I would get a sapling by now. And I really need one of these oak saplings, not... Okay, while I'm waiting for a sapling to drop, let's do an axe, because that'll come in handy later. Oh, can't really do an axe. At least not a stone axe. So then I should do this. I should do this. And this. Okay. Come on, please drop. Please drop what I need. That's all I'm asking of ye. Oh, I got a sapling. Am I going to stick around for an apple? Uh, that would be unwise. It would be unwise for me to stick around for anything of the sort. Okay, I still have a little bit of daylight left. I got... Oh my gosh, I don't. I looked the wrong way. I got to get back to the prairie. Gotta get back to the prairie, yeah. Alright, and I don't want... I don't want the prairie, my prairie life to be down in a ravine. I want it to be like up on the prairie. So like a water source needs to be fairly close to the top, which, oh goodness. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fulfill my wish. And I really don't wanna go out too much farther than where I am. So I think, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, I think. I think I just found my solution. My prairie home is going to be under here. My prairie home companion is going to be under here. And we're going to block this up. This is not what I was expecting. This is not what I was anticipating. To build my home in a hole like this. But it it's gonna have to be what I do because I don't have I don't have any many other options here. Light it up, we got some just as long as I can keep the mobs away. And keep it so that this water doesn't prevent me from getting out in the morning. Oh you know what? I don't have any I just realized I don't have enough dirt to make me a croppiness crop crop uh, farm that's what I mean to say a farm let's put this here for now let's put that here for the moment that's gonna keep mobs from getting in here if there are such things up in the above world well, this is gonna be interesting I'm definitely at risk of starving and is there another layer of dirt good Good, 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 good. Let's make the hoe. The hoe that will sustain us through this dark... Uh-oh. Through this dark time. It was a dark time for the rebellion. Let's get... Let's get water flowing here. I... <laughs> This was not part of my plan. This was not part of my plan, so. Now, the only thing I have to really worry about right now is gonna be them baby zombies. And we're gonna hope that that's not gonna be an issue. We are gonna cross our little fingers and our little toes, and we're gonna hope that I'm not gonna be assuaged my first night by the baby zombies. Okay, let's start. Let's start getting some crops going. We're gonna need a lot of, a lot of crops in the beginning here, because even though it's just me, I tend to eat a lot. I'm already almost down to four hearts of needing food, and I think the water goes one more. Oh, perfect, perfect. 
So by this mechanism here, all the crops that I punch should either fall on this side or roll down to here. That's exactly what I was hoping. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Looks like they're growing pretty quick. We'll make another one over here. This was totally not the plan. One, two, four, five. But it will work just fine. It should work just fine anyway. And then we'll take out this and we'll put dirt here. I'm going to have to get the dirt, of course. And then right now I've got a crafting table that's serving as my doorway. It's a very uh, non-traditional non -traditional, uh, solution, but that's what I was actually hoping for. Non-traditional solutions. Alright, so we'll take that out. And then we'll put dirt there. Perfect, look at that. I even counted the right number of blocks. Wow, that's almost, almost as if it was planned out to be that way, which it wasn't. I reiterate. All right, do that, do that. This is definitely not gonna be enough food for the long run, but it, it should be good for the short run. Right, we can get one more dirt. There we go. Now I don't remember how much farm farm space I had in my last my last one. Uh, this is gonna get eventually turned into sugar. Right, there's really nothing I can do. Oh, it's got an extra torch from somewhere. I'll take it. Okay, we got the zombies out and about. I hope they don't find their way down here because if they do they're gonna pretty quickly get washed into my home actually I just realized my home is not spider proof so maybe what I'll do is I will have uh, another inner chamber here <gasps> oh oh that scared the Christmas trees out of me okay okay I have no more Christmas trees so let's make another inner chamber here this will be my actual house and I'll put like some doors some doors here to keep it from getting any mobs inside oh, and then I'm gonna need to plant those trees outside all right let's do that I don't want to use up I don't want to use up everything use up everything everything that I wanted and actually I kind of wish I had used types of doors that <gasps> uh oh I just realized something else that guy is not gonna burn up during the day so we're gonna have to deal with him we're definitely gonna have to deal with him all right let's go ahead and make a chest uh, we'll do Do it out of that. Now let's make it. Let's make it a double. Uh, let's just make a couple more chests. Actually, we won't make them double chests quite yet. But we're gonna need like, we're gonna need like food stores, and we're gonna need other other stores. So like, this is food. I guess this will be other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep the saplings on me. Boy, is this, is this water trick working? Not too great. What I can do, I can make another row. I can make another row. Uh, we'll do that for now. Just as long as I don't draw his attention, Mr. Skeleton. I got three dirt, so I might as well do three more these yep that's good and then we'll carefully do this over here oops whoops I just say I'll carefully do this over here and then I bust down my crops 
Okay, there's the two dirt. Uh-oh. Where did that dirt just go? Are you over here, dirt? Uh-oh. I lost a piece of dirt just now. There it is. Magic of Minecraft, ladies and gents. Alright. That. That. Oh yeah, he is definitely in there. <laughs> he is definitely part of my life now. Alright. Uh, what I'll have to do... Let's put a torch here. Oh, I can just put torches here. Yeah, I could just do that. That's fine. So, wheat, uh, please do your do your best to grow for me. Would be nice of you. Because otherwise I'm going to starve to death. Otherwise I am going to starve to death. Alright, there's two. Okay, that should be good, I think. Almost. Almost perfect. Five seeds. Hey! That's a good number. That's a good number. Okay, it looks like, is it day? It might be day. Let's, oh, there's day two. 